Hello, my Sunday School friends. So good to be with you again today. We have our verse today. Let's go over it. Let's start with this one. Love the Lord your God, Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37. Let's say it again. Love the Lord your God, Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37. Who are we supposed to love? We are supposed to love the Lord our God. Very good. Let's take a look at our picture down here. Are these children showing that they love the Lord? Well, they do. They are showing that they do because they are listening to stories from God's Word, the Bible. And then we have another verse up here. It says, we will listen and obey, Deuteronomy 5.27. So that's what they're doing in our picture here. They're listening and they're obeying. I'm sure their parents probably said, time to go to bed, right? They obeyed and got into bed. And they're listening to stories about God and Jesus. Would you pray with me? Dear God, we love you. We want to obey you. Please help us to listen and to obey your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, it's time to sing some songs. So everybody up, 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 come on, everybody. All right, you know this first one really well. I can talk to God. Playing, I can talk to God when I'm in dressing. I can talk to God. I tell God about my day. I love you, is what I say. Cause I can talk to God anytime. Cause I can talk to God anytime. When I'm sad or crying. I can talk to God when I'm mad or cranky. I can talk to God. I tell God about my day. I love you, is what I say. Cause I can talk to God anytime. 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 All right, I hope you're getting those words down better than I am because sometimes I get mixed up. We have one more song. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. 
All right, it is time for our story from the Bible, our true story. All right, I have a message for you, a message from me to you, right? It says, I like you. Hmm. Well, listen to hear what happened when a king was given a message from God. You remember Daniel? He was a man who lived in the city of Babylon, and Daniel loved God and obeyed God. He had worked for King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon for many years. Now there was a new king, Belshazzar. King Belshazzar loved to have lots of parties. Oh, here he is having a party. Hmm. One night he gave a big dinner party. He and his friends drank from beautiful gold cups. The cups had been taken from God's temple in Jerusalem. The king did not care that these things belonged to God. The king did not love or obey God. Suddenly, something very strange happened. Ooh, a big hand appeared. The finger of the hand began to write on the wall. King Belshazzar watched the hand. He was very frightened. No one could tell what the writing meant. The king called his wise helpers. I don't think they have the answer. Oh, he called his wise helpers and none of them knew what the writing meant. The king didn't know what to do, but then the queen came. There's the queen. She came into the banquet hall. She saw the writing on the wall and heard that no one could tell what the words meant. The queen told the king that Daniel was very wise. She said, send for Daniel and ask him what the writing means. Well, Daniel came to see the king. The king asked Daniel to tell him what the writing meant. As a reward for telling what the writing meant, the king said he would give Daniel gifts and a new job. Well, Daniel didn't want the gifts or the new job, but he told the king that the writing meant that God had seen the way King Belshazzar had not loved or obeyed God. Now, said Daniel, God is going to end your time as king. Other people will take your place. <gasps> that very same night, that warning came true. Another king came and took over the city, and Daniel was given a new job by the new king. Daniel loved and obeyed God. Daniel always listened to God's word and obeyed God. We can listen to God's word too and obey God also. The Bible says we will listen and obey. All right, my Sunday school friends. I hope you enjoyed our story from the book of Daniel in the Bible today. And until we see you next time, remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye.